Niels Cornelius, you just played a draw with uh, young Christoph Duda. Uh, that was quite an enterprising uh, game. Yeah, we had some more fun than some of the others, at least. That's for sure. Um, Bishop takes g7. Was it your last resort to um, to keep the game going? Yeah, to be honest, I had missed this idea he had that he can just play f6 and let me take his bishop on g5. And after this, I thought I should be doing quite quite badly. Uh, so it was a very easy decision to go for bishop takes g7. I thought it's like it's interesting uh, attacking chances at least. Maybe he can survive. But if I don't do it, then I'm just lost, I guess. Uh, but then when he thought for a long time, I actually realized that not only is it uh, like uh, quite scary, but it's uh, maybe there is even no defense. Uh, but then he took on b2. And this was for sure a critical moment because I have three reasonable moves. King b1, king takes b2 as I did, and also take it with the bishop. And it's such a, a complicated choice because the lines like king b1 or king takes b2, it looks almost the same, but 15 moves later it makes a huge difference. But it's not clear which one is the, is the best try. So finally I went for king takes b2, after which I think what we did was more or less forced. So it was just a draw. So yeah, I have to find out after in the analysis if king b1 or bishop takes is anything for me, but uh, I have no idea. Um, I think that was not your first Sicilian with... Well, you, I think you played some with black, some with white. Um, you, you were looking for, for, for fun against uh, these top players. Yeah, definitely. Like I'm going, like normally I also have, for instance, some more calm options in my repertoire. I have bishop b5 check. I sometimes play the alapin. Uh, I mean, solid systems. Uh, but coming here, I mean, there, it doesn't really make any sense to me to not go for the, for the sharpest and the most fun stuff. So uh, definitely uh, <laughs> open Sicilian is <laughs> what I'm here to do. Um, how do you look back at the tournament? Uh, well, for me, it's kind of a bit in two parts. Yeah? The first uh, part before the first rest day, which I scored uh, half out of four, which was absolutely horrible. Uh, but then I told you, I remember in, in the interview that I was thinking of it as a, as a completely new tournament with nine rounds, the last nine. And the last nine, they are, uh, uh, I mean, quite decent. I think I scored uh, minus one or something. I mean, a, fa a fairly normal result and also the games have not been that bad. So second half, if I'm <laughs> allowed to exclude uh, the first part, uh, I'm, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not allowed. <laughs> and um, what's your plan for the, for the next months? Are there any tournaments you're going to play? Yeah, uh, the first one is that I'm uh, going to play actually a match with uh, David Howell in London. It's going to be quite fun in, in about a month. And after that, there is the European uh, Championship in Slovenia. So lots of chess for me, as always. Uh, can you tell me more about this match with David? Uh, it's just uh, a match. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what to play. We will play classical games, I think 10. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's quite a long match, quite a serious one. It will be played in London at the beginning of March. I think no, not all details are uh, like uh, settled or official yet, but uh, definitely something that uh, <laughs> that I'm looking forward to trying. <laughs> okay, well, all the best. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.